Diabetes is a common disease that interferes with the body's ability to use and store sugar. Too much sugar in the blood can damage the blood vessels in your body, including the tiny blood vessels in the retina. The retina is a light-sensitive layer at the back of the eye that acts like the film in a camera. It captures the images taken by the eye's lens and sends the images as signals to the brain. The damage to the blood vessels in the retina is called diabetic retinopathy and is a leading cause of vision loss in North America. The blood vessel damage can cause vision loss in several ways. When blood vessels are blocked or damaged, the tissues in the eye increase the production of proteins called growth factors, such as vascular endothelial growth factor, or VEGF, to stimulate the growth of new blood vessels. However, these new blood vessels are abnormal and fragile and can bleed into the eye. The eye's blood vessels may also leak fluid into the retina and, more problematically, into the macula, which is the central part of the retina where sharp, straight-ahead vision occurs. When the leaking fluid causes swelling of the macula in a person with diabetes, it's known as diabetic macular edema, or DME, and it's a serious eye complication that can cause severe vision loss or blindness. In the initial stages of diabetic retinopathy, often there are no symptoms. Blurred vision may occur if there's swelling of the macula or if there's bleeding into the eye. In some cases, if bleeding occurs, patients will also see spots or floaters. Diabetic retinopathy can be prevented or slowed by controlling blood sugar, blood cholesterol, and blood pressure. Patients are urged to know their hemoglobin A1c levels. This is a test of average blood glucose levels over three months. Most people with diabetes should aim for a target of 7.0 or less. When diabetic retinopathy leads to diabetic macular edema, or DME, treatment may be necessary. There are currently two treatment options for DME, laser photocoagulation and anti-VEGF treatment. In laser photocoagulation, leaky blood vessels affecting central vision are sealed using a laser. This slows the leaking of fluid, reducing the amount of fluid in the retina. Anti-VEGF medicine is a specialized medication for DME that targets VEGF. These anti-VEGF agents bind to VEGF molecules to prevent them from causing problems. The VEGF molecules are the ones that are partially responsible for the growth of abnormal, fragile blood vessels and for making existing blood vessels leaky. These injections into the eye are typically well tolerated, but there's a small risk of infection or bleeding inside the eye following the procedure. For best results, several treatments are usually needed. If you have diabetes, it's important to have your eyes checked regularly. Remember that diabetic retinopathy often has no symptoms in its early stages. It's recommended that those with type 1 diabetes be screened annually starting five years after the onset of diabetes, and those with type 2 diabetes be screened at the time of diagnosis and then every one or two years thereafter. Patients with more advanced diabetic retinopathy can reduce their risk of blindness by 95% with timely treatment and appropriate follow-up care.